All right. So we have the difference quotient. All right. And what they're having us do is they're giving us a function, 3x squared plus 2x. And then they want us to do all this crazy stuff with it, right? So this looks really crazy. And a lot of times it's very intimidating for a lot of students because they see a lot of it and it seems like too much at one time. But what I want you to do is I want you to focus in on what they're actually doing. If you remember, let's say, this is kind of like a hidden example. If you remember, if I did f of x equals um, x plus 1, right? And if I said find f of negative 2, what did you do with the negative 2? You put it in for the x, right? So you'd say equals a negative 2 plus 1. So then you say f of negative 2 equals a negative 1, right? All right? And then if we were going to make things even more difficult, we could say what is f of, let's say, um, p minus 1? And then what you do is you'd say, well, you're going to take p minus 1 and plug it in for x, and then plus 1, right? And then so f of p minus 1 ended up equaling p in this problem, because those cancel out. So what we have is we have our function, and they want us to find f of x plus h. So I'm going to break this up into two different problems. I'm going to find out what f of x plus h is. So if I know f of x is this, f of x plus h is going to be 3 times x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h. Does that make sense? I just plug this in for my x values. Then I need to figure out what x plus h is. So I'm going to erase this. I'm just going to put it on as a kind of like a side point, just in case people forget how to do x plus h. Right? Do your FOIL. x times x is x squared plus um, xh plus xh. I know it's h times x, but you can read either, either, write it either way. h squared, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. All right? So that's what that is. So it's 3 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared and parentheses plus, now I can use the distributive property here, 2x plus 2h. We're not done yet though, we need to distribute all this, right? 3x squared, I'm going to distribute this to everything, plus 6xh uh, plus 3h squared plus 2x plus 2h. Whew. It's a lot of stuff to write down. But are you following it? Yeah. What I'm doing, all I did was I just plugged in x plus h and evaluated it. Now, it, you know, when I, my first, first problem I did was a lot easier. This is pretty uh, big because I have to expand, um, you know, a binomial squared, and then I have to distribute it three. But everything else should be worked out. Now, I can't combine any like terms because this is an xh, that's an x squared, that's a, um, a 2h, and that's an x squared. So I can't combine anything. So this is what f of x plus h equals, right? And But it says I want you to take f of x plus h, which is this, and I want to subtract it from f of x. So f of x is 3x squared plus 2x. So I'm going to take this minus this and then divide by h. So I'm just going to rewrite it again. Just because I like to rewrite and do a lot of stuff plus 2x plus 2h minus f of x all over h. Now there's one thing you remember, since I'm subtracting the 3x squared and the 2x, I can distribute this negative sign. So I can make this a negative, and I'll make that a negative. Because remember, you're subtracting the whole thing. So you're not just subtracting the negative 3x squared, you're subtracting both of them. So they're both going to be the opposite um, sign, which would be negative in this case. Now I see that this term and this term, one's positive, one's negative, cancels out. Um, this term and this term, negative, positive, cancels out. So therefore I'm left with 
Um, and then, well, I'll, before I'm left with anything, I can say that now h can divide out that. I have this is h squared, so there's two of them, so I will cancel that two out, so I'm now left with one. And then my h over here can cancel out, because they're all being divided by h. So therefore, my final value is going to be 3h plus 6x. So 3h plus 6x plus 2. where h cannot equal 0. And that's how you simplify the Gilbert's quotient. So yes, there's a lot of work. I know.